order the meeting on uh, April 15th, 2024 of the Shandaken Conservation Advisory Council. And we will start with the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Well, we're a little shorthanded here, but maybe people will come in slowly. Um, approval of the minutes. Did we have the minutes? I, I it don't... was attached to this. Oh, that's right. Hang on. Okay. I can't motion to approve them because I didn't read the minutes. So. Well, why don't you read them quickly? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> let's read them. Yeah, Where are they? <laughs> on my email? Are they on email? There's okay, hold yeah, on. They're on your email. email. Do you have a written copy? I didn't print them. Right? Oh, I don't have a printer, and no, I didn't print them. I can read them right. as well from my email. Why don't you read them? Yeah. Okie dokie. Yeah, we might as well <laughs> read them into the minutes. Take me a second to find them. I might be able to find it too. I'll look and see. I'm offline. So oh, here they are. are. I just, they're so small, I couldn't read them. Oh. Okay. Look at the size of that. Where are you? Well, I can read it. Sure. Town of Shandaken, New York, CAC Minutes, March 18th, 2024. Attending members, Bethia Waterman, Bruce Berry, MJ Reese, Rob Cruikshank, Maya Lilly, and Catherine Del Tufo. Guests, Peter DiSclefani, Karen Lee. Angel Molina is on hiatus. 6.34 p.m., the meeting begins with the Pledge of Allegiance. Maya Lilly discusses communication platform Slack to be used in lieu of emails regarding CAC projects. Beth Waterman discusses the Tiffin project, UCRRA grant to apply to supply sustainable food storage containers. Shandaken's next town board meeting, April 1st, Bruce Berry to attend to present info on EV Day and EV heat pump event. Robert Cruikshank will attend the May 6th meeting to present the NYSERDA clean heating program. March 22nd, Zoom meeting for the May 18th EV heat pump event with the town of Olive. Maya Lilly will create a logo for the Shandaken CAC postal, postal issues discussed. Bruce Berry mentions that Shandaken citizens have purchased enough EVs to fulfill NYSERDA requirement for the receipt of $5,000. Peter DiSclefani responds to issues concerning locating chargers at Phoenicia Firehouse. All NYSERDA campaigns have been approved by Shandaken. Robert Crookshank presents data information sheet for Town of Olive, Clean Energy and Information for potential Shandaken transitioners. Maya Lilly discusses need to determine community solar signups with separate suppliers. Beth Waterman suggests learning from NYSERDA program portions of the Town of Hurley website. Greenhouse gas campaign is complete. Community climate action plan is ongoing. NRI is still waiting for grant availability. Pollinator pathway will receive seed packets from Ulster Savings Bank. Maya Lilly discusses the dire current world climate issues. In 7.43, Bruce Berry motions to adjourn. MJ Reese seconds. Next meeting, April 15th, 6.30. Here we are. I move so, to approve the minutes. I second. second. We got a lot done in a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Starting with membership items, correspondence, and announcements. The Earth Day, there is an Earth Day cleanup on Monday, April 22nd, on Route 28 in Pine Hill. People who want to participate should meet at the Pine Hill Community Center at 9 a.m. Okay. Um, another subject that was discussed in our new communications channel, Slack, is the Catskill Expo, Outdoor Expo, which is being held at the Visitor Center on June 8th. 
And I was really hoping that Maya would be here. She was very interested in doing that. And Bruce, you were interested also. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to be available that weekend. So if someone wants to. What's the date? June, June 8th. It's a, what day of the week is that? It's probably a Saturday. Saturday. Um, I think. I think it would be a good idea to be there, to have a presence there. We don't have to do anything major, but uh, we can have our three issues that we're pushing, which is solar, EVs, and uh, heat pumps, heat pumps um, yeah. information there, and answer questions. So I, I don't think it'll be a, anything that we have to really prepare a lot for. Yeah. So. Okay, well, we need to, if, if there's sufficient interest, I'm not going to be here, as I say, so I don't want to go out on a limb if other people aren't, you know, but I would like someone to take charge of that event and, and to sign up for it and, you know. Well, I think Maya seems to have wanted to take charge of it, so we can check with her and find okay. out. Okay. And then she can let, I think she needs to let Brett know. Brett is, uh, organ I think Brett might be organizing this, I'm not sure. Your son? Hmm. For the Catskill Center? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I know he's part of it, so I don't know, I'm sure. All right. And let's skip the next part. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Committee reports. <laughs> Earth Day 2024 planning report. Well, we have done an amazing <coughs> amount, if you ask me. Are you okay? Yes, I have an ongoing cough. Oh. I'm fine. It's if just annoying. If you're choking on the chocolate, I can take it away from you. <laughs> um, and really, kudos to Maya for everything she's done. Yep. Designing the flyers, which are beautiful. Everyone's seen them. Mm -hmm. And then we, di we distributed them to all of our sponsors. And, um, it's, and then she resized them for the Facebook and Instagram posts. I did not see that, that's great. So we've, we've now we're in the midst of a, of a social media campaign. So that's, Oh, great. Um, I, I am hoping to pick up the seeds tomorrow from the bank, and there's something else I'm supposed to card. pick up? Gift card. From the bank. Dollar, gift card. Okay. Apparently, assumedly, I'll bring them to Maya at some point, so I'll get in touch with Maya and find out how to do You can that. do that, or you can... She, uh, Maya told me that she had a, a shoot in New Orleans this week, so it may not oh. be... That may be where she is tonight. I oh. don't know. Could she be. Didn't, she Could didn't be. tell me she wouldn't be here. So let's. Okay. You can well, always bring them to up. me. Okay, I'll pick it up and we'll figure I'm gonna, it out. We have figured out, you know, that she's going to go there at 9:30. I'm going to be there at 10. So. Okay. And Bruce is going to be there. I don't know, 9:30 or 10. Mm-hmm. And then. So I'm it will stay. be open at 9:30. Potentially the building. I believe so. Mm -hmm. Okay. And. We'll, um, I mean, we're depending on Sophie, so mm -hmm. I, I don't have the key or anything. No, like no, that. I understand that. I, yeah. that I think our publicity has been very good. Um, the, the newspaper article The newspaper fantastic. article is terrific. Um, and uh, thank you to uh, Rick for doing that for us in the paper. Yeah. That's very nice. That's yeah. great. Great exposure and a lot of comments about it. Um, so, you know, I've, I've heard from people about it. Also, um, we have the cards distributed uh, for our event, and, um, and it looks like it's spreading on social media as well. I think Brad is posting it on his social media so for, yeah. for Silver Hollow Audio. Yeah. And the Venetia Play House has been fantastic in spreading the word. Uh, they've had two film events so far, one drew over 100 people, the other one drew 80 or 90 people. And we're hoping that trend continues for our event yeah. as well, which it should. They've also made up large posters at the Playhouse just for our event. Wow. Oh, great. Which has been really wonderful. So I think the films and the discussion is just going to be a fantastic. They'll be great. And the speakers as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the speakers. I made up the, uh, because we're doing a um, house, what do you call it? A raffle? Raffle, a, a door prize door is prize. what I'm looking for. 
Uh, we have a lot of uh, gift cards, and Maya has more than she needs for the trivia game, so we're going to have everybody put out their name and email address. If you want to see I don't, I don't need it. It's um, I did print on it that this is printed on tree-free paper. <laughs> so <laughs> oh. it, um, it goes with our theme of okay, saving. Um, and uh, we'll use these email addresses for future contacts, but uh, whoever wins the lucky prize, which I don't, I'm not sure what it's going to be, but whatever it is, um, it'll be fun. So we'll collect them at the Pine Hill Community Center and draw the prize at the Phoenicia Playhouse? Right, but we'll also collect them at the yes. Phoenicia Playhouse okay. as well. We'll take it with us, traveling, traveling door prize. I, I printed a little over 100, I think that might be enough. I have more at home, so I can cut them up. Cutting them up is a pain. But um, so I think we're we're pretty well set uh, for the for the day. Um, I'm hoping that we can get more uh, board uh, the council members to attend to help. Yeah. So um, uh, whether I hope Robert can come. I don't know if he had said if he could or couldn't. And. Uh, do, um, do you think we should reach out to them? Yeah, I think so. Angel is on hiatus, so... He is. I, I actually tracked him down and gave him some cards because he was a sponsor. They've closed for a couple of weeks because he's just so flat out packing and moving. And Where is he going? Is he... They, they had a house in Pine Hill that they sold, and I don't... Okay. I, I didn't ask him where he's living. Yeah, yeah. That's fine, yeah. But he's, he's, not, he's not moving out oh, of the area. Oh, I thought he was moving out of the area, no, right? No, no. Okay, got it. Okay. It's just a major yeah, that transition is big. for them. All right. All right. So, um, Earth Day, we'll just keep our fingers crossed. Hope people come. Uh, the next thing that we're planning is the EV and heat pump day at the Interpretive the Center, Interpretive Center mm -hmm. Catskill Visitor Center on Route 28. Um, and that will be on May 18th from 11 to 3. And it's an ongoing event with, with little informational talks about heat pumps or electric vehicles. And there will be, Bruce has recruited dealers from Kingston to bring vehicles up for demonstration. And last, yesterday I just sent a reminder out to them just to make sure they saved the date and I received an email back from one of them. Uh, but um, they all seemed enthusiastic so I'm not too concerned that we won't have a turnout but uh, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, the banner that we're going to make um, needs to be I'd like to get it done before, uh, before our Earth Day event um, because I'm leaving after that for uh, about two and a half weeks for a road trip um, with my wife. So I need to get that printed and done. Um, I could pay for it and then figure out how to have reimbursed from the town? There is no other way okay. that I know of. Yeah. Well, the last time I got the, the banner for Earth Day, um, the town just gave me a check for it. And when I picked it up, I gave them the check. Well, I mean, that's possible, but okay. you, don't ha you probably don't have time for that now. Probably not. Yeah. So I'll just pay for it. Yeah. Okay. I, I paid for the printing for the cards getting reimbursed, and we're doing a bulk mailing for these cards to every resident great. in Shandaken. And that I'm probably going to have to pay for, too. We'll see. Speaking of that, um, <laughs> what help do you need to get those to the post office? Nothing. I can do it. But these are extra cards, so if anybody wants to... Well, we'll put them in places that we... Let's wait until after Earth Day to place those out. Yeah. Well, maybe we should take them now. No? You want to hold on to them until no, the next meeting? No, I don't want to hold on to them. No, we'll take them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. I we'll divide them up and yeah. put them away. All right, good. Okay. Thank you. Um, 
the rest of the agenda here. Did you skip this NYSERDA community campaigns or do we talk about that? Do you want to talk about the EVs? Well, the, um, yes. Um, I talked to Peter. I had given Peter the information about um, this company that wants to put them in for a very little amount of money. And he has presented it to the fire department, which hasn't given him an answer yet. And there was some sort of zoning issue, too, that he was looking into. So it's a work in progress right now. And we'll see what happens with it. Yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> All right. Um, also, uh, I'm uh, working on yet another source of uh, perhaps getting free EV charging. Um, uh, but I haven't heard back from them yet. Um, something came up and um, I wrote a piece for our web page for the EV section. Yes. And Robert had um, a concern about the wording of the first piece which concerned the town, um, encouraging the town to buy EVs for their vehicles. And they have a couple of police cars that they're looking into you know, getting bids for now. And he was concerned that they weren't looking for EVs particularly, and I answered him, I said, why not? I mean, if it's a bid, a bid's a bid. So perhaps they should be reaching out to some EV companies to find out if they can get uh, either an EV or a um, hybrid uh, uh, police vehicle. Um, and then they can decide whether it's worth it or not uh, on, on so many levels. So uh, we didn't have that conversation. <clears throat> I reworded the statement, the piece that I gave him, and hopefully that worked, <clears throat> that worked for him. So that's it for the EV and charging. Okay, uh, clean heating and cooling. There's no report because Rob Cruikshank and Angel aren't here. And community solar, no report because similar absences here. The Tiffin project, that is proceeding. Is I've been to That's two great. meetings. Good. Um, and these Tiffins are actually dinner plate size. And they're divided inside, you know, in the compartments. And um, I don't, I think they're made out of stainless steel or aluminum or something, but they, they have a, a lid with a, a very good seal, mm -hmm. so they won't So leave. don't spill, yeah. yeah. And they will be distributed during July, which is plastic-free month. Hmm. And the Ulster County Resource Recovery Agency, who got, who got the grant to buy the Tiffins and give them away, We'll be setting up a, an event, I believe, at the Pine Hill Community Center. So I'll keep you informed. Uh, when the time comes, we may need. Hey, Karen. Yes. <laughs> no. Our meetings are always at 6:30. Well, the, the online ones are at seven, so that's what confuses you. Well, the town board meetings, you mean? Oh, it's also, yeah. Are at, are at 7. But ours are at 6. Um, Hi, come sit down here. Have a seat. There's, um, we, we've discussed a lot in your absence already, I'm sorry to say. I was just describing the Tiffin project. That's coming up in July. They're going to book a, and have a, have a table, maybe at the farmer's market and maybe at the Pine Hill Community Center to distribute the Tiffins and so that people can use them to, for takeout food if they're ordering in a restaurant or to bring home uneaten food if that's... Just sit here so he this way he doesn't have to move the mic. I thought that the Tiffin, the, the county who's distributing these, right? Yes. I thought they required a large event that they didn't want to give out. Well, they wanted to have at least 200 people because they need to distribute so many of these things. But they understand that we will not have 200 people, and they're willing to come up and, and do it. And they won't have these ready until July? Well, they're planning to do it in July. It's called Plastic Free Month. It's, right. it's part of that 
July campaign. They won't have them ready until July. Okay. So, so the, the farmer's market would be the only place at that point, because we'll have all our major events done by then. Well, the farmer's market is a good place, because mm -hmm. the Ulster yeah. County Resource Recovery right. Agency comes to the farmer's market anyway. Mm -hmm. okay. But um, the Pine Hill Community Center is a good place. Mm -hmm. They hosted our recycling workshops right. and so right. forth. Right. Great. Yeah. Terrific. Um, when, when the time, when they come up with a date, we'll, we'll need some volunteers there, because it's, there's a lot of packing and unpacking of tiffins that needs to be done, I think. How many tiffins are there? About? Um, they got a $20,000 grant. And I think they're buying 15,000 tiffins. That's great. That's really That's it's really wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Just for takeout food, it's yeah. just fantastic. Yeah. Saves all that uh, plastic and mm -hmm. paper. Yeah. The comprehensive plan, MJ? We're moving really forward. I mean, it's very successful. I mean, we're very excited about, we're gonna have, extending our next meeting, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to wrap it up and hand it off so it can be used. Um, so we're very excited about that. It's not perfect, but it's a work in progress and it's something that they can then use to apply for grants and things like that, because it's updated enough that oh. they can use that. So. Did they, I know they applied for a grant to hire a consultant. Did that ever? I actually forget because we had them and, and then we didn't have them and oh. I think we got one. I'm pretty sure that we got one, the latest. Okay. So we'll be working with them. Good. The Community Climate Action Plan, we had our third meeting with Melanie Patapas last week. Um, this is, you know, a major undertaking. And so far, I'm the only one who's been attending these workshops. They were all recorded. You were there except for last week, I'm sorry. They, they, they are recorded, so people can catch up if they want. Um, the Community Climate Action Plan is really something of pretty big significance for, for us. And I don't, I think we should, uh, give it the time and attention that it needs. But right now, we're just maxed out with other things, so that's the way it is. <laughs> it's also very deep. It's very involved. Yes. It's a lot of information. Yeah. And it's a, a very diverse set of areas of interest. Mm-hmm. But it is what, Can I just ask, what is it that we're hoping to <clears throat> get out of that by participating in that? What is, what is the direction that we're... Well, we're going to write a climate action plan for the community. Okay. So that's the residents and businesses in Shandaken. And it involves establishing key performance indicators, like okay. how much by when and, and uh, you know, it's... So getting help with those, establishing those by participating in that will... Well, we need to have more people involved and more members of the community involved. You know, it's definitely something that is, uh, needs a broader, a broader back um, base, foundation. I have attended a couple, but they, as you said, they're very, very complicated and uh well, the, the ones about data were extremely complicated, but that one is done. And, and you know, in the end, it was, it was more levels of difficulty than it, it needed to be. Mm -hmm. In the end, they gave us the data we needed. We didn't have to manufacture the data. And, and it, you know, it just proves the same thing once again. Transport and home residences, heating, are, are two major providers of greenhouse gases in the town. And so how, trying to establish ways to reduce that um, is what we're yeah. gearing up for. But certainly with our home heating campaign, that fits perfectly mm -hmm. in it. And mm -hmm. the same with the EVs. Mm -hmm. yes. So, so that's very, that'll be part of the report. That this is, this is what we're doing. This is how we're gonna try to you know, achieve these goals. Right. Yeah. 
Thank you. Natural resource inventory, still waiting for grants. Exactly true. <laughs> there, there is a meeting, a webinar on Wednesday. Are you attending? I, I have a doctor's appointment in the middle of it, but I made, I, I meant to cancel that today, but I mm -hmm. forgot. So mm -hmm. I'll see if I can cancel it tomorrow. Okay. I, I got the impression from the email that um, whoever sent you the email was attending, but I didn't know that it was something that we should participate in. I could potentially participate. We should in participate in it, I think, yeah. Um, I think it's good, it, it'll say, the, the grants haven't been announced yet, but, when, but this is going sort of preliminary to the announcement of the grants, and it, it will detail what kinds of um, uh, actions <coughs> would, would make your grant more <coughs> successful. And the last thing on the agenda, pollinator pathway, um, Catherine has already alluded to. She's picking up the seed packets tomorrow. Yay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hopefully everyone will have a pollinator pathway in their yard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you don't already. I've already seen the bees out. <laughs> They're busy yeah. already. Yeah. Um, MJ, do you want to say anything or do you want to just Oh, Grace. No. no, I'll be, you know, I'm, I'll be in the background, so if you need someone to go to a meeting or to hear some, you know, just use me, don't, and I, I'll be listening in any way, I think it's just the amount of time that I have. I'm moving, I'm moving into, um, I teach sailing, and I'm getting my boat ready, and um, though all those things are happening. Yeah. Um, so, this is such a great group. I, it's <laughs> really hard for me to... I knew I shouldn't even join this group, but I did because Beth, you are such a great leader, and all of you guys are such hard workers, and I love the intention behind this. Um, so it's really important to keep it going. So. Yeah. Well, let's. Um, I understand that you have a busy summer plans, but if in the fall you would like to yeah. come yeah. back, please right. let's talk about it. Yeah. The door is open. Thank you. And meanwhile, I'd like to welcome Karen, our yeah, newest yes, member. Thank you. That's not fair. You can't leave when I come I know, I know. <laughs> Karen and I have been trying to get together for like months. And so it's just oh. <laughs> um, is it Austin, right? Yes. Yes, yes. So I live next door. And we met Austin when we oh. first moved up here. And so he was talking all about his mom, and I have to meet his mom. And, you know, yeah. how life goes on. He moved out, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah. it just. I uh, just wanted to say a thank you to Robert Drake, who's been doing a lot of work on our website and, uh, and helping us with uh, some of the more difficult grant things. Um, so thank you, Robert. I was yeah. hoping he'd be here to say that too, but he's yeah. not. I know. Well. Okay. <coughs> Any further comments or ideas? or? Thoughts? Yeah, we have a busy month ahead of us. <clears throat> yes, we do. And um, I'm hoping it's very successful. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, thank you. I'm sure it will be. Thank you, everyone. Is there a motion to adjourn? I'll move to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 And thank you, Beth. Thank you.